Naked Speed has all the elements that I love, you know what I mean? You've got guys in their garage building things, really trying to make a piece and make a statement, you know, and build their own work of art, which is what we do. You're gonna see heartfelt stories. It, it runs the gamut of everything that, you know, humanity brings you. These bikes are stripped down to nothing. So they're stripped down to be the fastest, most lean machine possible, meant for speed. The fit was right for me and what I do. This is my expertise and also my interest and my passion. So I'm, I'm pumped. I just can't wait for people to see it. What it all boils down to is to be able to build cool stuff. You know, think of, of a motorcycle and build it, think of a car and build it, think of a piece of furniture and get to build it. That's what it's all about for me. My dream was always to have, uh, have a shop. You know, started playing with hot rods, went to school, got a tech degree, ended up in LA and I worked at SoCal Speed Shop, got lucky enough kept beating down Chip's door and Foose Design let me in and spent three years there doing the overhaul and apprenticing and that's when I just fell into TV. I found out it was a lot like building cars and building bikes was that you come up with the idea, there's a vision for it and then there's a full creative process where you go through and eventually you show it to the masses and, and hope they like it. Got an MBA and cutting stuff off. We moved to Atlanta. We didn't have, I had a welder, I had a, uh, a handful, like my hand tools, obviously. I was bound and determined to do this for a living. And that was my goal. Nothing was gonna stop me from going to work, working with my hands, build it, creating, you know, my vision, Ooh, yeah. and, uh, and finding a way to make a living at it. And if I had to starve in order to do it, then that's what, what I was gonna do. I'm easily bored. Here we go. Stretching, stretching. I get bored with the norm. Once somebody's done something, then I really don't have much interest in doing it. So that's one thing. The other one is I'm a, I'm a history buff. So I love looking at history. So I see what all of our predecessors have built, especially in the beginning, people were more creative because we didn't know what the heck we were doing. I just love to look at look at everything and get ideas. I look at boats and planes and dirt bikes and cars and anything. I'll look at toasters and see if I can get an idea. I'm able to really go to work, create interesting things. I come in and, and shape metal and, and create these weird things. And at the end, we get to ride them and show them to people. And uh, it really has been a fun life. You know what I mean? It's been a fun ride.